The Hardy Lab of the Engineering Building has an issue with birds nesting in the rafters. Students have resorted to throwing tennis balls at the birds to try to get them to leave. In the process, tennis balls are scattered across the floor of the Hardy Lab, making a mess for Mike Miller. He has asked us to build him a ball launcher that can be used around the Hardy Lab to shoot tennis balls into a collection bin. An efficient and effective ball launcher would have to be able to shoot the ball into the collection bin consistently from a variety of distances. A potential solution should be accurate, adjustable, mobile, safe to use, and as simply built as possible. All of the tennis ball launchers on the market were ineffective for use around the Hardy Lab. Most of the solutions were powered by arm motion or were operated with electricity or some other form of energy conversion. Each member came up with their own design idea for a solution. The first was a ball launcher that resembled a crossbow. The second, a device that used a rotating wheel to launch tennis balls. The next alternative resembled an oversized slingshot. The fourth idea used the sling from the slingshot inside of a large tube as a cannon. After using a weighted design matrix, the fourth design idea was chosen as the best potential solution as it scored highest in accuracy, adjustability, safety, and mobility. We analyzed aerodynamics of the ball in flight, the initial velocity of the ball to achieve optimum distance, and the force required from the surgical tubing to achieve the ideal initial velocity. The cannon used a large diameter piece of pipe with surgical tubing attached to the outside. To prepare for firing, the ball is put inside the sling, which is then pulled back and attached to the trigger. Range of the cannon can be adjusted by adjusting the angle of the barrel as well as the distance the sling was pulled back. Our trigger is based on a crossbow trigger that must be set before firing. While the force of the rope is on the hammer, the link prevents the hammer from rotating. When the trigger is pulled, equilibrium is disturbed, causing the link and hammer to rotate, which fires the cannon. The cannon we constructed performed very well for accuracy and consistency of range. Loading the machine is simple and easy and can be ready to fire within 15 seconds with one set of hands. The trigger works very nicely and takes very little force to pull. The mobility of the cannon is very good as it is quite small and light. Safety wise there has been no malfunctions or issues with the cannon or trigger. We feel that our design is a success and will work very well for shooting tennis balls at varying distances around the Hardy Lab.